Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Before going to the video, those who are not subscribed our channel, subscribe it and also click the bell button. Here we are going to see about crystal detector. Crystal detector is an electronic component which was used in early 20th century radio receivers. In the radio receivers, the crystal performed basically the same role that the detectors in microwaves perform. A detector rectifies the radio frequency signal subjected to it. Crystal detector was the first type of semiconductor diode and it was one of the first semiconductor electronic devices. This crystal detector consists of a piece of crystalline mineral which rectifies the alternating current radio frequency signal given to it. This crystalline mineral was employed as a detector that is demodulator to extract the audio modulation from the modulator carrier to produce sound in the earphones. The most common type of crystal detector is the cap whisker detector which consists of a piece of galena that is lead sulfide and a fine wire touching its surface. Crystal detectors are widely used in radio frequency and microwave fields due to their sensitivity and simple design. Microwave crystal detectors are usually point contact type of semiconductor devices. These crystal diodes have low capacitance across the point contact junction and they are suitable for microwave rectification. The semiconductor used in microwave crystal detectors are usually silicon or germanium and it is doped with certain amount of impurities. Here the diode operates because a contact potential is established between two dissimilar conductors. Let us consider two metals A and B in contact where metal B has more free electrons that is its conductivity is more than metal A that is metal A has less number of free electrons. Now an electron flow takes place predominantly from B to A. After equilibrium is reached A will apparently be charged more negatively and B will be more positive. Hence, a potential barrier will be formed at the junction which provides rectification. The main parts of a crystal detector are a semiconducting chip and a metal whisker which contacts the chip. A typical microwave crystal detector uses a silicon chip which was about 1 by 16 inch square and a pointer tungsten whisker wire whose diameter is about 3 by 1000 inch. The other parts of the crystal detector are just to support the chip and the whisker and to couple the electrical energy to the detector. These crystal detectors are smaller in size and hence their power handling capability is only 100 milliwatts. The figure shows a typical crystal detector or cat whisker detector. Next is the square law characteristics of crystal detector. Let us consider an ideal crystal detector circuit shown in the figure which has a diode, capacitance and a milliammeter. Now the input sinusoidal microwave voltage is applied to the RF terminals. Here the capacitor bypasses the radio frequency signals and hence only the DC current flows to the milliammeter when the input signal is small. That is for extremely small signals, the current is simply proportional to the applied voltage and the crystal behaves as a simple resistor with negligible DC current flowing through the milliammeter. However, for somewhat larger signals, the second harmonic term must be included in the current component and the current indicated by the milliammeter is proportional to the square of amplitude of the 
input microwave voltage now let us see the types of crystal detector based on the type of crystal used first cap disker detector next carborundum detector next silicon detector and crystal to crystal detectors first let us see about cap disker detector cap disker detector is the commonly used crystal detector and it uses the crystalline mineral galena that is lead sulfide and a piece of thin metal wire called cap disker which was usually made of phosphor bronze the crystal galena require only light pressure and hence it was used with the wire cap disker contact this detector was very sensitive to the exact geometry and pressure of contact between the wire and the crystal next carborundum detector as we all know silicon carbide is called as carborundum this silicon carbide is an artificial product of electric furnaces and it requires a heavier pressure than the cap disker contact this carborundum detector it consists of a piece of silicon carbide which was either clamped between two flat metal contacts or mounted in a fusible alloy in a metal cup with a contact consisting of a hardened steel point pressed firmly against it with a spring this carborundum detector was not sensitive to vibration as cap disker detector and also it can tolerate high currents but it required bias battery because the band gap energy of silicon carbide is 3 electron volt which is much wider hence it requires biasing carborundum detectors were used in shipboard wireless stations and military stations next silicon detector this was the first type of crystal detector to be produced commercially it required more pressure than the cap disker contact but less than the carborundum detector in silicon detector a piece of silicon was embedded in fusible alloy in a metal cap and a metal point either brass or gold was pressed against it with a spring this metal point can also be made with antimony and arsenic contacts silicon detector was not so sensitive to vibration and it did not require bias battery like carborundum detector hence it is widely used in commercial and military radio telegraphy stations next crystal to crystal detectors these detectors consist of two different crystals with their surfaces touching each other and thus they form a crystal to crystal contact pericon was the most widely used crystal to crystal detector pericon stands for perfect picard contact picard was to invent this pericon detector in these detectors the two crystals are holded in kept in metal contacts in these detectors the two crystals are mounted in metal holders face to face one crystal was zinc site that is zinc oxide and the other crystal was copper ion sulfide and this may be either boronite or chalcopyrite multiple zinc site crystals are mounted in a fusible alloy in a round cup and the chalcopyrite crystal was mounted in a cup on an adjustable arm facing it this crystal to crystal detector was sometimes used with a small forward bias voltage of around 0.5 volt half around 0.2 volt from a battery to make it more sensitive apart from zinc site chalcopyrite pair other crystal pairs were also used they are zinc site was used with carbon galena and tellurium and silicon was used with arsenic antimony and tellurium crystals 
Now let us see the applications of microwave crystal detectors. These detectors are used as video detector which produces DC when the input signal is unmodulated and produces low frequency AC output when the input signal is modulated. They are also used as mixers in super heterodyne systems specifically at microwave frequencies where other mixers such as vacuum tubes are insufficient. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel.